How to Clean Felt on a Pool Table, Step-by-Step -step Guide A pool table is one of the most awesome and cool things you can have in your game room, basement, man cave, or wherever you have it in your house. It can be the place, that you hang out with your friends and if you have kids, it can be something, they can enjoy with their friends as well. In short, a pool table is a lot of fun. Sometimes that fun can get a little much, and before you know it, you or a buddy has spilled a beer on it, or one of the kids have spilled their Dr. Pepper all over it. You think that you have a big nasty stain on your prized pool table forever right? Well wrong. You can clean felt on a pool table, but you have to do it in a certain way which I am going to teach you today, as well as a few other tips for keeping your pool table looking great. But before we dive into the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss out on any of our future fascinating videos. What not to do, when cleaning a pool table. Let's start with the things that you should never do, when there is something spilled on your pool table. Use warm water on the felt. It is only natural, that the first instinct is to get some warm water and clean the stain, but this can ruin the felt and cause the stain, to take up permanent residence on your pool table. Leave the stain until the morning. So many pool tables get ruined because, people think they will get rid of that stain in the morning. Well, that is not the case, you need to act quickly when something is spilled on your pool table, especially if it is something dark, like a coke or a beer. Use heat on the pool table surface. I already mentioned hot water, but using any kind of heat to, dry, anything that has been spilled on your pool table is a terrible idea. So you have a stain on your pool table? Well, this is how you can get it out quickly, and without damaging your pool table. What you need. A microfiber or lint-free cloth, best to buy a multi-pack. White vinegar. A bowl. Some cold water. If the spillage happens when you are there, start here. Step 1. Blot the spillage with a cloth. It is very important that you make sure you just blot it, and do not wipe the surface of the pool table, as you will be just rubbing the stain into the fibers. Step 2. Using a clean cloth, run it under a cold tap and rinse it out so that the cloth is damp, not wet. Once again blot the stain to get, as much of it up from the felt as you can. If the spillage happened a day or more before, start here. Step 3. Now you will want to mix some cold water, and white vinegar in a bowl. A tablespoon of white vinegar is all you need, to add to the water. Dip the cloth into the water, and give it a good wringing so that once again, it is damp, not wet. Blot the stain, firmly, but make sure you are not rubbing the table surface. Step 4. If the stain is really stubborn and is still there, you can do it again. Keep on doing it until the stain is gone. Step 5. Once the pool table has air dried, take a closer look at the area the stain was. If the stain is still there, give it another blotting with the white vinegar and cold water mix. Really awkward and stubborn stains can take a few tries, patience and not rubbing are the key here. Other tips, that will help you clean felt on a pool table. Here I want to share with you a few tips and rules, that I have used over the years ever since I spilled a Diet Pepsi on my pool table that have helped me keep my pool table in great shape. A no drink zone around the table. Let's start with the obvious, the way that drinks get spilled on a pool table happens one of three ways. The first is that someone is standing too close to the table, with a drink in their hand. The second is that, the person actually playing, or is trying to play with a drink in their hand. The most common though, is someone placing their drink on the side of the pool table. No drinks should be anywhere near the pool table. Buy a proper pool table brush. I have a pool table with a red felt top and it looks great, but it shows up dirt and dust really bad. The way, that I keep it clean is, with a proper brush that is designed for pool tables. Do not just go into the kitchen, and get the dustpan and brush. Use a brush, that is actually made for pool tables. They have much softer bristles which capture dirt, but are gentle on the felt. Brush the felt properly, don't overbrush. There is no point having a proper pool table brush, if you are just scrubbing away like a maniac. Start in the middle of the table and work towards each side, then give it a brush from the top to the bottom. People have a tendency to overbrush their pool tables. Brushing should take, no more than a couple of minutes at the most. A hand vac can work wonders. If you have a vacuum, that allows you to turn it into a hand vac, 
or maybe you have a separate hand vac, this can be a great and easy way to clean felt on a pool table. Put it, on the lowest setting and run it gently along the felt. If you have a crevice tool, you can even use that, to get into the corners and under the edges too. If you are really serious about your pool and you love your table, getting a decent hand vac is not a bad idea at all. There are pool table cleaning products. The last tip I want to give you is that, there are products on the market that are actually designed for cleaning pool tables. I never really use these as I try to take good care of mine, ever since the Pepsi incident, however I do know some people, who have a can of spray on hand, just in case. You can sometimes get a set, where you get a brush and a can of spray, which might be the way to go, if you do not already have a brush for your pool table. So, that's it from our side. Let us know your views in the comments section down below. Also, please don't forget to like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel, for more interesting content like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we will see you next time.